Today we're going to do a declutter and reorganization of my makeup collection. I personally love to watch these videos, but I do know that, you know, some people find these not so great. So if that's you, no dramas, I'll see you in the next one, but we are going to be decluttering my makeup collection. So if that does sound interesting to you, then let's go ahead and do the YouTube things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. Before I get into the actual declutter and reorganization, I will try and leave a timestamp when that actually starts because some of you will complain this is a long intro, but I need to give just some disclaimers because some people do find these videos a little bit funny. So, first of all, I do have a larger makeup collection. I wouldn't say I have an extremely large collection. I like to call mine a medium size, except for my eyeshadow palettes, they're large. Um, but I do have a larger collection than the average person. Partly because I'm a YouTuber, but mostly because I'm obsessed with makeup. It's my thing. It's my hobby. I love it. And it's what I choose to spend my money on. And I'm a grown woman and can do what I wish. So if you don't like seeing that and all of that does, again, not the video for you, totally fine. Um, if that doesn't bother you, carry on then. Secondly, none of this makeup will get thrown away unless it's completely expired. I have a lot of people in my life that very much love it when it is declutter time for me. All of this makeup goes to homes that will love and adore it. Please don't ask me for my used makeup in the comments while I respect why you're asking for it. One, it's super expensive to ship out makeup and two, I just don't feel comfortable sending my used makeup to anyone other than like close family and friends. Uh, three, you don't need a large collection like this. You don't need, you know, all of that jazz, all of those disclaimers. And lastly, um, I think that Hannah Louise posted, um, she posted a really good video about YouTube and like makeup declutters on YouTube. And I'm going to link that video down below because I think it was really quite interesting to watch and like think about those points of views because sometimes I know we love watching declutters. I love watching declutters as well. More so I like watching them to see what all of the makeup that people actually have in their collection. Not so much that it's like the decluttering side of it for me. I'm okay with whether, I'm, you know, I just want to, see, I'm just nosy. I just want to see what you have. Um, but you know, Hannah kind of talks about like when you see a lot of YouTubers in particular do makeup declutters, it's keeping in mind that this is somewhat of a business for them, depending on how large they are. For a lot of us, it's hobbies. Maybe one day we'll be businesses. Um, maybe it's just a pure hobby, just starting out, whatever. But we generally do have like more makeup because like me, for example, I would buy certain products throughout the year that I probably wouldn't buy if I wasn't on YouTube, but I purchased because I know that it would be a valuable review to a lot of you, or um, you guys might want to see it pure and simple, something like that. And so just keep in mind that like, just because I declutter my collection of a heap of things doesn't mean that you have to, doesn't mean that you have to even feel guilty if you have a lot of makeup in your collection, even if it's just sitting there, like you do you. This is just for me. I know that as a YouTuber moving forward into the new year, I am going to bring in new products as they get released. So I want to get rid of the products that aren't bringing me joy or aren't going to get used because I will pass them on to people who will genuinely use them. So I don't know. I don't know if any of that makes sense. I'm going to like Hannah's video and I think she talks about some really good valid points, but I just wanted to give all of those disclaimers, okay? <laughs> and now let's get into the declutter. We're going to start off with the first draw, like we always do. This is like primers and foundations, color correctors, and concealers. Uh, so let's just get into it. I'll start over here. So I might just zoom you guys in a little bit. I don't know if this is too chaotic. Let me know in the comments if you prefer to do declutters on like the white desk format or if you just want to kind of see it like this. I'm not really sure. I kind of always prefer just watching people go through their collection like this, but you guys let me know because I want to do what you prefer. The first up we have the Fenty Beauty Body Sauce and this is so off. Uh, it is disgusting. It's kind of just been mixed up so it doesn't look off but um, when I pulled this out it had all of this gross yellow oil and everything in it and it is well and truly past its expiry date so I am unfortunately going to throw that away. I'm not sure if I'll repurchase that yet or not. This Pat McGrath Labs primer, I really really enjoy this primer but it proper breaks me out and the foundation breaks me out too but I can get away with wearing the foundation one or two times before it breaks me out but anytime I wear this primer it just the next day I wake up with like a couple of really deep like cystic pimples so I'm actually going to declutter this and give it to my mum because she doesn't have the same problem as me and she really likes these types of primers. 
This one I actually talked about as a makeup regret one time, but I have, since that makeup regret video, I've like fallen head over heels in love with it and it's almost empty, so it's definitely not going anywhere. This one right here is the Stila One Step Correct, and last time I talked about this, I was like, I think it might be breaking it me up, but then the ingredients didn't look like it should be. Uh, and I was like, oh, you know what? I'll try and use it. I have not used it once since that last declutter. So this has got to go. These are just some skincare products that I keep in here. These are fine. I'm going to keep them. This is a Laura Mercier uh, blurring primer. It's not amazing, but it's also not like the worst. So I'll keep it around. This is a little Benefit Professional primer that I kind of have been keeping around, but I'm actually just going to declutter this. I don't use it. This is a L'Oreal Base Magic Transforming Smoothing Primer, and I have my Tarte one and a couple of others, so I'm actually going to declutter this as well. This is my RCMA Foundation Palette, and I love this. It's not going anywhere. It's just a whole bag of samples that my friend Patty sent me, so I'm keeping that because I still have to try them. She also sent me the Milk Makeup Hydro Primer because she tried it and she hated it. I'm going to keep this Victoria Beckham Augustinus Beta Primer. It's Again, it's not like my super favorite, but it was so expensive and I can still use it, so... Same with this one, not my super fave, the Hourglass Vanish, but it's not the worst. I can use it, it doesn't break me out, all that kind of stuff, so I'll get my money's worth. I really like this. I know lots of people haven't, but for me, I, I genuinely enjoy this primer. I use it as a primer, and I mix it in with a lot of like my matte foundations. For example, I like mixing it in with the Hourglass foundation. I find it makes it a little bit more hydrating, so I really like that. I'm going to keep this one for another couple of months and I might actually focus on using it up. It hasn't got much left and I actually really like this but I've had it for a little while since 2020. So if we're going by the back it says 12 months uh, but it still feels fine and it still smells the same so I might just keep this for like a couple more months and try and finish it and then maybe get rid of it. This is pretty new. I actually really like this. This in winter is like one of my favorite primers. It's really cool and I'm, I like the little roly-poly thing. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. I'm trying to really use this Rose Wink like serum, tinted serum thing up so that I can rebuy the Chanel Water Fresh tint because I prefer that one. So I'm obviously keeping it. I haven't got much left. I might focus on this as well. Tarte Paulus Smoothing Primer. Not going anywhere. Love it. I'm trying not to like make this video a million miles long. So sorry if it's too fast. This um, Huda Beauty Glowish Blur Jam, when I first tried this, I was like, oh yeah, it's fine. Nothing crazy good, nothing crazy bad, so I'll keep it. But I've actually fallen really in love with this primer. I don't find it really smooths my pores or anything like that, but it kind of reminds me in a really weird way without the tint of the Chanel Waterfresh tint. It has that like real cooling feeling. And I just actually like the way that it makes my makeup look, so I'm definitely keeping that. Now we've got foundations, and I actually want to be quite harsh because I've been looking at my foundations recently recently and I'm like, oh, I'm just, apart from a few of you, I'm not really super wowed by you guys. I don't really want to use you. So why am I keeping you? You know, this is the KVD Good Apple backup foundation that I've got. And I'm hundred percent keeping that. It's like one of my favorite foundations. We can pull this one out. Look, I hardly have anything left. So I'm going to focus on using that up. I love it. This is another primer. This is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Primer. Again, I super actually really like this product as a primer, so keeping. I love these two products, especially for lighter coverage. I actually, I know these are more like summertime products that people say, but I actually really like these in the winter time when my skin is um, feeling really dry, which it did last year, and I really, really liked using them for that because they're just a bit more hydrating. Um, and this one here is just a little bit too dark for me though, so I do need to get a new shade, but I'm going to keep it because when I have a fake tan on, it's good. This one's just been hidden and I keep forgetting to use it, but I actually really like this, so keeping that. This one here is the M Cosmetics Cushion Foundation. This one's pretty much used up and I have the backup. I'm actually just going to declutter this. I don't think to reach for it. I'm pretty sure it breaks me out because it's got SPF in it and... I don't know, against everything else, it's just not something I think to reach for. It's not super wowing, so I'm going to give this one away. Wayne Goss Cream Foundation. I think it's called the Cream Luxury Cream Foundation. I actually have come to like this, surprisingly. I really have. It's just too dark for me. I need a lighter shade, but when I have a tan, it's okay. So I'll keep this for now because it's still out of stock, but I have come to like this, and I would like to pick up the right shade. Two NARS Light Reflecting Foundations. These are, this is my Holy Grail. This is Mont Blanc, and this is Deville. That's like my summer shade, my winter shade. Not going anywhere. I love them. I have two L'Oreal True Match. One in 1.5 and one in 4.n. Um, this one I use when my foundations are too light. I just add a little drop of it in and it deepens them. And then this is my actual shade. I'm not, they're not going anywhere. I love that. I love my House Labs foundation, not going anywhere. Oh my god, the level that I love this pure 
foundation, especially in summertime when my skin's like super oily, this is oh, flawless. It makes my skin look literally like a filter. It's glorious. I really love the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation as well. More of in wintertime, I prefer this, but it's it's a lovely foundation. I actually got my mom into this and she is obsessed with it. The Oma Beauty Foundation, this is the Say What one in T2 and Fair Lady. I'm obsessed. This is nearly finished as well. I need to put this in like a makeup I want to use up kind of video. Um, I've actually ordered two bottles of this already as a backup in their sale. I got this shade again because this is a good summer shade. And then I actually got T1N Fair Lady because it is slightly too dark, so we'll see how that shade is. But yes, this is uh, not going anywhere. The Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. It's not my super fave, you guys. It's really not, but it, it works. It doesn't break me out, and it's not, by far, it's absolutely not the worst foundation I've tried. So I am going to keep it, but I wouldn't, like, repurchase it or anything. The Lancome, again, I put in a video where I was like, I really regret buying this, and then my skin looked so good with it that I kind of started using it a heap and now I kind of like it. I just wish it didn't have fragrance in it so I can't use it like every day because it'll break me out but I can wear it like one or two times a week and it, and it will be fine so I am going to keep this but again I wouldn't repurchase it but only because of the fragrance. I actually have come to like this. I love this Pat McGrath Labs foundation. I really do. It I, Again it has coconut in it and I can't wear it every day so um, it, that's a shame but I am going to keep it because I like it for pat videos and I do like to wear it every now and then. It is, it's a lovely foundation on my skin. I'm actually going to declutter this um, Oma by Sharon C Flawless in real life. I just don't love it as much as I love the Oma Beauty Say What. It's just it's same same but different and I like the other one and I just don't think to reach for it. I don't really necessarily want to reach for it so I'm going to declutter it. This is going. I put this in my like makeup I regret buying in 2022. It's just, I want to like it so much. I really do because of it's blurring and anything blurring I'm into, but it just doesn't like my skin at all. So I have to get rid of it because I don't even want to use it, even for a YouTube video, because it just doesn't make my skin look good. If you've watched all of my declutters, I have kept this around for so long. I, I don't like it. It's not the right shade for me and it's not a good finish at all on my skin, but I keep it around in case I want to do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury, but I just need to get rid of it because I've not used it an entire year. I'm not even kidding. I have not used this all year, so why am I keeping it? Like, that's ludicrous. So, it's gone. And then I've actually come to quite enjoy my Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin. I don't actually think I even have much left in this. It's, again, it's not my fave fave. I don't know if I would actually repurchase this. If you've watched, like, my journey with this foundation from the very start, you know that I absolutely hated it, couldn't make it work. Finally figured out a way to make it work for me. I think my skin changed a little bit, and then I just used, I found a different technique to use it, and I came to enjoy it. But it's still not something that I, like, want to reach for over the NARS, over the Oma Beauty, over the Pure, over the House Labs, all of the others. So I'm going to keep it because I'm determined to finish it. It was so expensive and I do love Lisa, but I don't know if I'd rebuy it. I'm not sure yet. We'll TBA on that because half of me really does enjoy it and then the other half is a bit unsure. So TBA. Color correctors. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get rid of any of these. The only one I'm actually going to do for from this whole thing is this Bobbi Brown one. I didn't want to because I was like, oh, it's so new, I spent so much money on it, but I don't use it, so what's the point of keeping it around? It's just not a good match for me, so that can go. The big one is concealers. This is a big one. This is the Bobbi Brown eye cream. Love this, not going anywhere. Obviously, I'm not getting rid of my Huda Beauty. That's my favorite concealer of all time. I'm gonna get rid of this Lancome Tint Needle. I really love that. This I don't super love, but also haven't tried enough to decide whether or not I want to get rid of it yet. Same with these two. I mean, I'm never going to declutter that. I'm going to get my money's worth. And this Vive one, it's okay. It's not the best. I can see this getting decluttered eventually, but I want to do a full face of Vive with it before I do that. I really like the Dermacol makeup cover. I just actually need to check if this is expired. I think it's still fine. Yeah, so I'm going to keep the Dermacol. I'm going to declutter this Makeup Forever full cover concealer. It's just too matte for me and I don't like it. This Kevin Aquan kills me. It kills me to declutter this, but I hate it. So what's the point? I just need to get rid of it. I hate it. Ellis Fast, the uh, light concealer wand or whatever. Not a full coverage concealer, but I love it for brightening my under eyes and just like no makeup days and all that kind of stuff. So I actually really enjoy this one. I'm going to keep it. You know I love these. These were in my best of 2022. So they're staying. And you also know I love this Laura Mercier one. Also staying. This item beauty one, I actually don't mind it. 
but it's also not wowing enough for me to keep it right now. I really just want to have makeup in here that I think is really good and I can reach for any of it and it's good. So I'm actually going to declutter it. The Tarte and Laura Mercier concealers, I actually love both of these. I think they're really, really good. I'm sorry it's not focusing properly. It's been difficult. I'm going to keep both of these though because they're really, really good. The KVD Good Apple Concealers, you can see they're so grotty. I don't know why mine get so grotty, honestly. I'm a mess, but these are amazing and I'm keeping them. One Size and Makeup Forever. Really enjoy both of these concealers keeping. These are pretty much off. Uh, actually, let me smell these. Sadly, these Pat McGrath Labs ones are off. You can tell they smell like paint thinner. They don't normally smell like that, so I'm going to have to throw them away. I'm actually going to declutter this one because it's way too light and I don't use it on my under eyes or anything. But I'm actually going to keep this one because what I've been doing with this is using it um, on my lids. So before I do a video, when I do my eyes first, I actually put this on like my brow bone to kind of blend it into the rest of my foundation. And so I'm just going to keep that around for, keep it around for that um, so that I don't waste any of my good concealers. But otherwise I would actually declutter this, but I have been doing that for a bit. So I feel like I could probably use it up with that. This little mini Tarte Ultra Creamy, I don't like the Ultra Creamy formula. So I'm actually just going to declutter it. This is going, this is going so badly. I hate it. I hate it. Part of me is like, should I keep this and do another full face of Charlotte Tilbury before I get rid of it? No, it's going. I don't like it. What am I doing? I love this Maybelline Instant Rewind Concealer. So she'll be keeping that. This is going finally. I went to declutter this last time and I just, because I spent my own money on it, I spent all my own money on like 99% of my collection. And so it hurts me to like I try so hard, like I have gone to the ends of the earth to make a product work for me before I declutter it, I can assure you. And so I've been keeping more products than necessary or that I want around because of that purpose, but I just need to give up, honestly. It's better to go to someone that's actually going to use it, you know what I mean? I have a lot of people in my life that take all of this makeup from me and they get a lot of use out of it and they truly value it, so it's got to go. I really wanted to like this Dermablend concealer. But again, I can't get on board with it. It just doesn't work out for me. So that's going to go. This is so old. It's not even funny. It actually has to go in the bin. This is like well and truly. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. I actually really like this, but it's just really old. I do not support um, Anastasia Beverly Hills on my channel anymore. I think these are good concealers, but they've got to go. I don't feature them on my channel at all. And I don't think, I don't use them in like my everyday makeup when I'm not on you, like when I'm not filming because I have other concealers that I actually like a lot more. So these are going to go. That's the whole drawer done. Um, I'm just going to actually like messily put everything in and then we'll reorganize it later. Next drawer, which is cream bronzers and powder bronzers, powder and setting sprays. So let's do this. Controversially, I'm actually going to declutter this because I don't like it. It breaks me out and I don't, I don't actually super love this. I don't kind of get the hype. So this is going. Keeping this one, this is the MCO Beauty Contour Wand. Um, and you would kind of think that if I didn't like the Charlotte Tilbury one, I wouldn't like this one. But actually, I prefer this one. The formula is a lot nicer. I don't know why it's not focusing. I'm sorry, you guys. A PR company sent me a heap of Ciate products. And this is a dewy bronze product. And there is no way I'm ever going to use this. I'm sorry. Like, I'm grateful for it to be sent to me. But it's just like... <laughs> I don't kind of get it. So it starts out like that. And then when you blend it, it just blends into oil, like proper greasy oil and nothing else. Like, look, where did it go? So yeah, that's a no. I love this Danessa Myrick's Nutcracker product though. This is really good. I like that. I'm keeping both of these. This is my Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt and my Rare Beauty like Happy Soul Cream Bronzer. I love both they're, they're staying. The Chanel I'm going to put in a makeup I want to use up because look at that. And it's on its last legs. So it hasn't got much left in expiry wise. So I'm going to focus on it and I really like it. I mean, this is like one of my favorite products of all time out of all of my products. So obviously I'm going to keep it. Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. Oh my gosh, why won't this open? There we go. Cream Bronzer. It's okay. It's a little bit dry for me. But it's not bad, so I'm definitely going to keep it. Can you guys see this? I hit pan on this, which is surprising. This is the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. I hit pan. There's not a lot of product in this. So my friend Brooke came over the other day and we were playing with makeup. And I was like, oh, look, I've hit pan on this. And then we were looking at the product amount. And there's only five grams of product in this, which like every other product is nearly double. So yeah, um, but I, I actually do like this. So 
keeping. I really enjoy this Kosas contour trio. Really enjoy it. This is really good for setting like my under eyes and stuff. And then these are really good like proper contour. They're not bronzers, they're proper contour powders. So I like that. I love this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. And when, if this ever gets expired before I can use it or if it, like I fully use it up, I'm going to buy the refill. I love it. It's one of the best bronzers I've ever tried. This is going to go. This was in my makeup I regret buying. I'm not going to use it. Someone else needs to get use out of it. I actually wasn't into this product at the start, but now I really like it. This is the Patrick Ta Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. I actually really like this, so keeping it. This one isn't going anywhere. This is my Victoria Beckham bronzer, and I love it. This one is going. I decluttered it last time and then sneakily put it back into my collection, and it's just, I don't like it. I don't reach for it every time I use it now. I used to love it, but now when I use it, I'm like, oh, I don't like this, so it's going. Same with this one, which this breaks my heart because I have been trying and trying with this bronzer because it was so expensive and it's Dior and I want to like it, but I just do not like it. I don't, and I don't want to reach for it, so it's going to go. This is going to go too. I regret buying this so bad. This is this um, Skin Perfector from Mario. I'm, I don't use this. I don't get it. I don't... It's fine, I just don't use it and I don't get it. And so why waste, like why just have it sitting here? Do you know what I mean? I'm sure someone will get some use out of it. This makeup by Mario Bronzer though, I absolutely love. I'm trying so hard to hit pan, it's so close. And see like this one here has like 12 grams of product. So 12 grams and five grams and they're the same size. I don't know, it's weird. But anyway, I really like this one. So I'm not as wrapped about this Gucci bronzer as everyone else is. I don't know why, but it's it's not bad, don't get me wrong, I do like it, but I'm just not as infatuated with it, but I'm obviously gonna keep it. And also the packaging is stunning. I love this Nabla Ambra bronzer. I know it's, I don't know. Some people hate it, some people really like it. I really like it, so I'm gonna keep that. I talked about this in the makeup I regret buying for 2022 and I think I'm gonna declutter it. It's still super new, but I just don't like it. It doesn't bring me joy It's too drying. It's just nothing special. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna declutter this I love the Huda Glowish bronzer. I love it. So that's it. The Ilia one. It's actually it's okay I don't use it a whole lot I'm gonna try this for a month or so and see my final thoughts on it and then probably declutter it I like it and I don't like it at the same time So we'll see. and this is one of my favorite bronzers of all time ever period I love this. I can't stop using it I'm not going anywhere. I have a couple of other bronzers back here that I keep around. This is the City Bronzer from Maybelline and the MCO Silky Smooth Bronzer and I just don't use drugstore beauty um, and I just, not that it's bad in any way, I just don't think to reach for it and I have so many other bronzers so I'm actually, this one's still brand new and then this one's only been swatched so I'm going to give these away. I have a heap of cousins and stuff that will love these. I have kept this because I actually really like this bronzer but I just don't like I don't know. I just don't support this brand and it's just going to waste. So I'm actually going to declutter it. I actually do like the product though. And then this one right here, I, I want to keep it because it's good for the body, but it's just so big. I'm never going to get use out of it when you see how many bronzers I have. So again, I have so many cousins and friends that will love these that it'll be fine. Let's talk about powders, shall we? Because somehow I've accumulated quite a few. I'm going to keep this actually. I just forget to use it. I need to put it somewhere to use it, but this has actually started looking good on my under eyes. So I'm going to keep this for a little bit longer. I'm going to declutter this. I hate it. This is the Fenty Beauty like white. This is just in the refill. I didn't mean to buy the refill, but it sucks. I don't like it. It's got to go. House Labs. I freaking love this powder. It's staying. Same with the Oma Beauty powder. I absolutely adore it. It's staying. I really enjoy this Westman Atelier one. I'm not sure if I'd rebuy it yet, but I really enjoy it and it's almost like, I don't know if you guys can see how much I've used of this powder. See the big divot in here? Hopefully. So I was about to hit pan and I, I'm determined to actually use this entire product because it was $135. <laughs> I really like this NARS light reflecting powder too. I just got a mini. I like mini sizes of things. If there's minis, I'm going to buy minis from now on because it's just easier and for me to use up. But yeah, I really like this. You know this Laura Mercier under eye brightening powder is like my holy grail, so keeping that. I also really like this Kaleidos face powder, which actually I'm thinking I should declutter this because I actually do have it. It's the exact same powder that's in here, so I could just keep this and use that and then declutter this, right? So that, because I'm not going to use both. Yeah, I'm going to do that. This is nearly used up. I don't know if I'd repurchase this either, but I want to use it in my full face of Vive, which I'm going to film soon. I actually don't mind this Sephora Micro Smooth powder. I got this because Alyssa Ashley used to rave about it and you can't get it in Australia and I went to America and picked it up, but I don't reach for it, so I'm actually going to declutter it. It's not good enough to reach for. 
I hate this powder that much. It's not even funny. I loathe it. It's the worst powder I've ever tried. So it's going. Danessa Myrick's um, Evolution Powder. It's, it's okay. I don't mind it. It's not the best. It's not the worst. So I'll keep it. This Givenchy powder was a gift. So I am going to keep it. But I don't super love it. This is a travel size Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just going to keep that because I actually use it. I'm going to... I don't mind this item beauty powder. But I don't reach for it. So I'm actually going to declutter it because I don't see me using it over my other powders. It's not, I don't leave the house enough. I normally, I would put this in my bag and use it as like a touch up powder, but I don't actually leave the house enough and I have used it a bit. Like there's not much product left in it. So I'll give it to someone. Oh, I don't know what to do about this. I think I'm going to declutter it. That's going to go on a maybe for now. I just need to think about it. Um, I'm going to keep my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I love that. I'll keep this. This is the medium of the pat blurring powder. I like it. So I'll keep it, but I use that on my face. I mean, my Kosas Cloud Set is my favorite powder of all time. Definitely not going anywhere. The e.l.f. Halo Glow. I actually really like this, but I don't think to reach for it. I really don't. I do like it, but I just don't think to reach for it over all of the other powders that I have. So I'm going to declutter it. The Say Air Set Powder. It's good. It's just not translucent, which is what it's got. Look how dark that is. Like, it needs to be translucent. And I would use it a lot more, but I'm still going to keep it because in wintertime it actually is really good. My two MAC Studio Fix foundations, I have one in NW20, which is the lighter one, and NC25. So I get often, I get asked quite often why I have two. This one is my under eye powder, and this one is my face powder. So I like them. I really actually like this. And I also have the one size powder foundation in the shade light 2N. Probably a shade too dark for me. But I like it. This is actually a good product, so I'm keeping that. These are my setting sprays, and I just have a full size of the Benefit Professional and a travel one, and then the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting, sp uh, setting Spray. This is a brand new one. I haven't touched it yet because I'm going to use this one up first. Uh, I'm not getting rid of any of these three. These are the two setting sprays I like. I am going to get rid of this MAC Fix Plus just because it's super, super, super old. Um, and I didn't really use it because I didn't realize it had like shimmer in it. I actually picked this up on like a incredible discount and I have a feeling it was already close to being off when I picked it up so I'm just gonna actually throw this one away so this is my cream blush cream highlight powder blush and powder highlight so powder highlighters are here powder blushes are here face palettes as well and then these are all cream products of some sort so we're gonna go through this one how harsh am I gonna be I'm not sure I kind of like most of these products but we'll see so let's start over here here. I'm sorry if this is honestly chaotic to watch, but I'm a little bit chaotic at the best of times, so hopefully it all just kind of matches. Let's start with this hideous thing. I know this packaging is absolutely hideous, like so hideous, but I really like these products and I need to figure out a way to better store these, honestly. I think I'm just going to destroy this packaging and put them in like a little Z palette or something, but that's a later day, but I am going to keep it. I'm keeping both of my Luna Beauty blush palettes because I just adore them. They're so good underrated brand I keep telling you this is a big question mark do I keep this hmm that's a maybe I'm gonna have to think about that I'm actually going to sell this because I've only used it twice or three times and it's brand new so I'm gonna do like a depop or something like that I'm not sure how to I really like this vape palette it's cute so I'm keeping it I also don't know what to do about this you guys I think I'm gonna declutter it I like having these two shades of pat blushes. I never think to use them. I don't super love the pinks. And also, this is too dark for me. I love the pat blushes. But I just don't think I need these. Ugh, another maybe. I'm decluttering these. I'm doing it. I don't reach for them. I don't enjoy using them. I got two shades. It's a no. So, decluttering. I'm actually going to throw this away. Because it is so old so old and it's gross so it's just you i don't know if you can even tell it's just gross it's gotta go this is not going anywhere because i love this so much none of my makeup by mario cream blushes are going anywhere i love them <laughs> same with my victoria beckham cream blushes you'll pry them from my cold dead hands same with my say cream blushes i love them. this one however you can have i have tried you guys i've tried and i've tried and i've tried and i just can't like it so it's going i actually really like this Cream blush from LAS, so I'm gonna keep that. I also have come to like this one from Rose Ink, oddly enough, so I'm gonna keep that. Oh my gosh, the level that I love this cream blush. Oh, 
it is so good. I want more shades. Keep it. Also, the level that I love this, say, Super Glowy Gel. <laughs> the level I love it. Uh, I really like this Vision Flush in Bread and Butter from Denise Marks. Stain. I'm going to declutter this. I don't... And now that I have the Pink Moon from Lisa, that's all I need. I don't want this one. I don't love it. It doesn't go well over powder, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Obviously, these are staying. These are my favorite cream highlighters of all time. Like, look how much I've used with this. This is one of the best blushes I've ever tried. I love it. I love it. And I also love this um, face palette. It is so good. So staying. I love this. This is also staying. Look how much pen I've hit on a highlighter of all things. This is going, I just don't really like it anymore. I'm over it. It hasn't got much left. Yes, I should use it up, but I don't want to. <laughs> I really like this. This is such a good product. I love it. And look at those shades, they're so cute. Stain. <sighs> I need to declutter this, you guys. I don't like it. I really don't. And it's just going to sit here and rot, honestly. So it's gotta go, even though I love Victoria Beckham. But this, on the other hand, is amazing, and I love it. And if I was to use it, I'd rebuy it. I really like this Laura Mercier Tinted Cream Blush as well. It's lovely. I have tried with this. I haven't used this in a year. It's just not for me. It's not bad at all, honestly. It's a pretty good product. You have to use it under powder. I haven't figured out a way to use this over powder. But it is a really good product, but I just don't reach for it ever. So, gotta go. Um, I got this in the Behave NARS Christmas set, and I just don't like this product at all from it. I like the powder blush and the cream blush I got, but I just don't like this, so I'm going to give that away. I really like this Tower 28 blush in Magic Hour. I got this in, like, a Christmas gift set, or a set when I went to America, I think, and I like it. All of these. One is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Spotlight wand. I love this. It's actually nearly empty, that one. And then these are all the MCO Beauty highlight ones. Um, two of them are blushes, pink glow and peach glow, and then one's the highlighter, and I really like them, so they're staying. And then this is an Ellis Fast blush, and I really love it. It's like this really cool reddy color. I don't know if you can see. It's really cool. I like it. These are powder blushes, and I think this is going to be really hard, because I actually really like most of these. Um, I keep this around for just, I don't know, um, because it's like pillow talk and the nipple blush from Charlotte Tilbury, and everyone loves them, but I really don't like it. So I might actually give this to my mum. I think she'll really like it, and I'm just not... I never use it. I don't want to use it. It doesn't bring me joy. It doesn't bring me joy. Get rid of it. I love this. I love these. I know they're so old, but I love them, so it's staying. I, this is a good blush. I just don't think to reach for it, but it is a lovely peachy coral colour, and it's excessive, so I'll keep that. I do enjoy this M Cosmetics blush, so staying. All my Pat McGrath Labs ones in these. These are all shades I love and adore. Pink Venetian, or Venetian Sunrise, sorry, Electric Bloom, Flirtatious, oh gosh, I can't open things today. This is Paradise Glow, my favourite, Desert Orchid, technically I could get rid of Desert Orchid because it's kind of in here, but I'm not going to because I love them. This NARS Behave one is really good too, I like it. I'll keep both my makeup by Mario's too, this is Creamy Peach, and I think this is Desert Rose, yeah. I, I really love those products. Obviously, a mess is staying, and I I now want more shades, even though it's ludicrous. I love it. Same with this Gucci one. I love this. Love it. This is such a good blush from Item Beauty. These are on sale on Sephora US right now for so cheap. I recommend picking one up. Honestly, it's really good. So definitely staying. Glowish, I love. Absolutely love. I'm actually going to declutter this Bare Minerals one. This is Kiss of Copper. I actually really like these. It's just, I don't reach for this one that much, and it kind of reminds me of Desert Orchid. I'm going to keep, keep Kiss of Pink, though, just because um, this is quite new, and I, I actually do really like that product. This is another product that they sent me in PR for Ciate, and I don't get it. It's like straight metallic pink, and I, I'm just not going to use that, so it's going to get decluttered. I have all of these blushes and I've been procrastinating on these because I really like them. Oh. Hmm. I love that. I mean, I'm going to keep it. I like it. I think I can get rid of this. I just don't think that's actually going to look good on me. So I'll declutter that. Mm. I mean, I'm not going to use this. But you guys have asked me, you've, you have been asking to see this in a video. 
Um, all right, I'll just hold on. Oh, shoot, I'll hold on to it for now. This one I love. This one is so beautiful. Definitely keeping it that all the time. And I actually use this one all the time. I know it looks like this is good for like most skin tones, but if you use a really light hand, this looks super pretty. So I'm gonna keep that too. We just have powder highlighters left. So just these two trays right here. I have to get rid of this and I don't want to, but it's super old, super, super old and gross and gunky. And I love it still, but it is like, I'm talking five or six years. whenever it very first got released which was many years ago so it's got to go should i get rid of this i don't like it no nah, i don't know why i keep this i don't even super love it but i keep it because it was expensive i don't even know if i want to get rid of any of these i don't love this i don't love this so maybe i'll get rid of that I also do not need this opal one from Makeup by Mario. It's way too icy for me. Um, I'm just going to put this in the maybe pile for now. I don't know why I'm super holding on to that. Oh, that's right. I'm keeping this around because I'm going to do a full face of Makeup by Mario. So I'll keep this around for now. But then I actually, there is a purpose. I, I know I'm going to declutter this. But once I fill my full face of Makeup by Mario, this OAS one is stunning. I love it. I'm actually, I've always said I wouldn't declutter this because I got it because of Mel. But it doesn't look good it's like turned off or something it's like expired and has no highlight left so i'm gonna get rid of that i'm definitely not getting rid of my celestial light this is i don't use this a whole lot but i just feel like it's a cult classic and it's still pretty new so i like to have it in my collection golden nectar is actually not for sale anymore but it's my favorite one of my favorite highlights of all time it's so good and you can see like i don't know if you can tell how much i've used of this i've used a lot this is also one of my favorite highlights. I love this so much. So good. And this, this has really become one of my all-time faves. I can't stop using this. It's so lovely. I also enjoy this. You know I love this. Oh my lord. I also really like the Kaleidos ones. The Makeup by Mario Pearl one is really pretty. I do like that. Okay, so I think I'm just going to get rid of Champagne Pop here. I've been keeping it, but I never use it. I have similar ones. I was keeping it for nostalgia, but honestly, who really cares? I love these two from Kaleidos. The new ones I'll get a lot of, like, I'll wear every now and then, but I just love them so much. They're so fun. Okay, so we didn't really declutter. Yes, I could declutter this, but I don't want to. I don't know why I should, but I don't, I don't know why. And then what do I do with this? I think I can declutter this. Yeah, I'm going to declutter this. It kind of pains me too, but I, it's like you either declutter the Bobbi Brown or this one, and I prefer the Bobbi Brown. The only thing too I have left is this one and this Patrick Ta one, and I don't know what to do. But you know what? I'm going I'm to keep it around if I don't use it in a month or two. Done. And then this one I think I will declutter because I genuinely don't reach for these two shades. They're just not my everyday kind of shades, and I have other pinks and stuff I like, and this is too dark for me. So I, I'm better off giving this to someone who will actually be able to use this highlight. So I'm actually going to declutter this one. This next drawer has like, right now I've got little eyeshadow palettes because I need to move them somewhere. My eyeshadows have just been like growing. You know that scene from Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows 2 where they go to Bellatrix vault in Gringotts and everything you touch just multiplies. That seems to be my eyeshadow palettes at the moment. Anyway, um, I also have cream, eyeshadows, brow products extra stuff i don't envision a whole lot being de decluttered in here but there is some stuff that needs to be decluttered so um let's do these first okay this i also got in um b <laughs> pr from ciate i'm not picking on them i swear i am grateful for it but i'm just not going to use it it's like this body oil stick and i don't really i mean you guys know i don't leave the house so i don't need a body oil stick so someone else may as well get the use out of that um, I'm going to keep this because I haven't filmed my full face of Makeup by Mario yet. This is the bronze light one, but I will declutter this because I do not get it. I talked about this in my makeup regret. These are two just backups. This is the Rare Beauty Eye Primer and the Rare Beauty Mascara. I just recently bought these. They're like some of my favorite products. So they're just waiting until the others are finished. These are two Ellis Fast Cream Eyeshadow Sticks. And again, I talked about these in my best of 2022 makeup that I tried. I love, I love them. They're so underrated. I have all of these brow products actually i can get rid of a couple of these i'm just going to keep my benefit brow products and this essence brow pen it's really good but i'm going to get rid of these two all of these 
mascaras are staying because they're just completely unopened waiting for me to go through my other ones and I also have a oh, Oh, I dropped right in the lid. Um, a backup of the intensified stick of Pat McGrath. So they're all staying. I'm not really going to get rid of any of my cream shadows because I am doing a cream shadow roundup and stuff and I'm still testing them. So these are two Danessa Myricks ones. I got stupidly got one that's basically my skin tone, but anyway. Um, so I'm keeping those. Keeping my Lace Eldridge. They're my favorite. Keeping these Mecha Max sticks. If you're in Australia and have access to Mecha Max, these are actually pretty good. Um, keeping my Vive stick, my KVD, my Laura Mercier. I got this like Ciate shadow flip that's like a duo chrome shade. Um, yeah, I guess I'll keep it for that video. Why not? That was from that PR as well. So these are like the Charlotte Tilbury cream shadows, Hourglass, Victoria Beckham, RMS. They're not going anywhere because I haven't done that video yet. But if I was going to declutter any, I would declutter the Charlotte, like these Charlotte Tilbury ones. Because they crease on my lids, but I wouldn't declutter anything else if I'm honest. Let's do these eyeshadows right here. I'm not decluttering any of my Tom Ford quads at all. None of those, which is my Natasha Denona minis. I am going to declutter this. This is the M Cosmetics little eyeshadow palette. Focus. Um, it's very pretty. I just don't use it. Out of all my eyeshadow palettes, I don't use it. So I'm going to declutter that. I'm not going to declutter my Victoria Beckham. I love it. And I'm not decluttering this one. I know people didn't like this. I love this quad. So that's not going anywhere. I'm also not decluttering any of my Lisa Aldridge. They are my some of my favorite eyeshadows I've ever tried. All my busy art. I love them. So we will look at these though. Huda Beauty Wild Keeping Favorite. Huda Beauty Python, even though it's very colourful, also keeping, I love it. The quality of those is really good. This one, oh, also I know so many of you guys picked this up at Mecca in their Boxing Day sale for $35. Good job. This is the best. I actually really like this palette, but I'm tempted to sell it because I've only used it once or twice and it's brand new, but it's also on sale everywhere. So I don't know if anyone would actually buy it and I don't really have much NARS and I actually really like this. But just because I'm like in the grand scheme, of grand scheme of things with all of my eyeshadow palettes, how much use am I going to get out of it? I'm trying to be really practical about it. So actually, I'm just going to keep it back because I don't know. I do actually really like it. Kaleidos Cold Proof. I haven't tried this yet. And this broke, so it's all pressed back in. But I haven't tried it yet. But I really love the color story. So I want to, I want to try it. I'm just busy. This is the P. Louise Stack Em Up. My friend Nicole sent me this and it's such a beautiful green eyeshadow palette. I haven't actually tried this in my eyes yet. I haven't been, had enough time, but I do really like it. And um, can someone tell me, is P. Louise problematic? Can someone tell me? Because I'm not sure. I'm going to declutter this. I love it. The color story is stunning. I just don't reach for it. I talked about this in my palette ranking. So even though it's beautiful, I'm just going to declutter it because someone else should get used to how beautiful that is. I will never declutter these. <laughs> never. They're amazing. They're some of the best work least, um, Linda Holberg has ever done. And I will also never declutter my Busy Art palettes. I will never get enough of Busy Art eyeshadows. They're amazing. I don't care. Like, I have not never come across a Busy Art palette I don't love. Let's do eyeshadow palettes, friends. These are all of my other eyeshadow palettes. Obviously, we just did the small ones and then the rest are in here. I already had, I had my friend Brooke over the other day and I gave her a couple already. So we're down about three, I think I gave her. Um, I gave her the What's Up Beauty Monsoon Palette, a Beauty Bay Palette, and one of these Kaleidos Palettes. It was a purple one, and I don't use purple that often. So I have these three Kaleidos Palettes, and I just haven't had time to use them yet, and I love them, and they inspire me a lot, and I, am I really want to use these. So I'm not decluttering these, and I'm going to make an effort to use them. I might try them in shorts, actually. Also, let me know if you guys want to see any videos in particular. I have tried this one. I love these shades. I really love the Kaleidos eyeshadow formula. It's so good. And this one, look at that color story. Oh my goodness. I'm so inspired by these. So yeah, I just haven't, because they weren't like, when I got them, they're not like brand new releases. That's why. I, and then we just got like, the same time I got these, I got like, you know, the new Huda came, new Huda came out, new Natasha came out, new Pat came out. I was just like, bam, 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 new releases. So that's why I've used them. But I love them. I don't know what to do about this because it's not bad, but it also doesn't super inspire me. And I'm not sure how much use I'm going to get out of this one. Um, hmm. I might keep that around for a little longer though. It is pretty new. This one's definitely not going anywhere. I love this. 
it is so good. Same with my Oma. I love, love, love. I haven't tried this one yet, but I'm actually going to declutter this because I was swatching these the other day and they feel horrible. Horrible. So I am actually going to declutter this because I know I'm not going to use that. Not decluttering this one though, because this one doesn't swatch as the same and this one is actually quite lovely. I know I should probably declutter these, but I'm not ready to yet. So I'm going to keep these. I mean, I love the Gemini one. I'm just not as obsessed with Gemini 2, but I'm going to keep these for a little bit longer. These are a heap of singles. So these are my Cleona singles. They're not going anywhere. I actually only want to add to this collection, not take away. I love these. These are so special. This one is like... Some of my original eyeshadows, these are years old. I'm talking six plus years. They really are. These are old school Makeup Geek. Like back in the day when Makeup Geek were just getting the hype. Like this is Lucky Penny, my favorite shade. A few of these are ColourPop. Um, I should 120% declutter these, but they're so kind of nostalgic and almost special to me that I don't. So yeah, we'll keep those. This is the ColourPop Rudolph palette. My friend got this for me as a gift last year, but I think I'm actually going to declutter it because I just don't really reach for ColourPop. So, and it, you can't buy it anymore, so I can't really show it on the channel either. I love Glaminatrix. I love them. And I love this U Beauty palette. So you can also rebuy this now if you're interested. These are my two Lethal Cosmetics palettes that I created years ago, like years ago. And this is when I was in my Instagram phase where I was all doing like colorful Instagram makeup. And I mean, honestly, I could declutter quite a few of these shades because it's just not my jam anymore. I feel like you can even just tell this by looking at them, but um, I'm, I'm gonna keep them for now. I am finally gonna declutter this. I've had this thing with the Huda Beauty big palettes for some reason and wanting to collect them. And I've just, it's been real weird because I don't think to use them that whole often. And I just, again, I don't think to use this. It's a lovely palette. It really is, but I don't use it. And it's also very, very old. So I'm going to declutter it. I should declutter this. I haven't used it in like a year. I don't think I've used this since this came out. That's going to be a maybe for now. I'm not going to declutter this one. It was a gift from my husband, but also I actually really like this color story. It's one of them Huda color stories that does kind of impress me a bit. So I'm going to keep that. This is my favorite one, the Rose Quartz from Huda. This is the one that gets I get the most use out of. It is my favorite by far. I think this formula in here too is just so special. I love it. This one I'm actually going to sell. I know. I've only used it twice and I think it's pretty and I think it's a wearable color story, but it is not something I'm going to get a use, lot of use out of. So because it's brand new and I've only used it twice, I'm going to put it on like Depop or Marketplace or whatever. And I'm going to sell it because I'm not going to get any use out of this. It's going to sit in my collection like the Naughty Nude, this one that I'm like maybe over. It's just going to sit in my collection and collect us like that. So if I've only used it twice and it's brand new, I might as well sell it. I held on to this last time for nostalgia reasons. I'm going to declutter it. I don't use it. I don't like the brand. It's going. I really want them to release this again just so that everyone can have one more round of buying this. It's just such a special palette. Angie did such a good job on it. This is the last palette I will ever... I'll declutter every single eyeshadow palette before I declutter this. This is Mel Thompson's Tiny Marbles palette with Sydney Grace. It is so special for so many reasons and I will never declutter it. Vive Muse. Um, I'm not decluttering this and I probably won't declutter this because... Um, I probably would like to keep a Vive palette in my collection for reference. I just don't super love it. Um, but I am going to do a full face of Vive, so, um, I'm definitely going to keep it for that. And then I'm actually going to sell this one. I'm, I'll keep it, I'll film my full face of Vive, like, within the next few days. And then once I film that, I'm actually going to put this up for sale too. I've used this twice. Yeah, twice. I do not like it. It is not a formula for me. Again, it's a brand new palette that I've used twice. And by the time I sell it, I may have used it three times, but I'll probably use Muse, to be honest with you, in the full face review. So, yeah, it's... Again, I'm never going to use this. I don't like it. It needs to go to someone who will. These are my Sydney Grace Mel Thompson, like, in Mel's Loving Memory bundle. Definitely not going anywhere. Nabla Side by Side. I love this palette. Do you think I reach for it? I love it. It's such a beautiful color story. Okay, that's going in the maybe. I'm keeping this Beauty Bay Wilderness one 
no one ever wants to see it. I know you guys say you do, but trust me, anytime I've put this on my channel or even on Instagram or anything, it never gets any views, it never gets any engagement. I don't know why, because it's one of the best palettes of all time. Like it really is. This color story is epic. And because of that, I'm gonna keep it. This is just like one for me, because I just love the color story so much. This one hurts a little bit. I don't super love purple, but I do really like this palette. I got it because of FOMO and loved it. Like, I actually loved this, but I don't support the brand. Same with this one. Also, I'm never going to use the colors in this. I don't know why I kept it. What, what am I thinking? I'm never going to use these colors. So, luckily, I got both of these on, like, a really good discount. But, yeah, I just don't support the brand, so they got to go. Here's a mate. It's not going anywhere. That's for sure. Um, my two Marios, definitely, definitely not. Um, I was going to sell this. I'm still going to do my full face Mario, so I'll probably keep it flat, but I was going to sell this. But I've kind of come to like it a little bit more. These are just really pretty. So, I don't know. TBA on that. I love this one. This one's so good. Keeping my two new lethals because they're some of my favorite eyeshadows ever. I'm probably going to keep these because I'm not going to get my money's worth. Like, I'm not going to really be able to sell them. And I, they're so expensive, but that, you know, I'll still use them every now and then on the channel, so that's fine. This is such a good palette. If you've been on the fence about picking this up, just do it. It is so good, trust me. These are all my Glaminatrix singles and one <laughs> lethal, and these are brilliant. I'm going to do a Glaminatrix swatch party. They're amazing. They also sent me the, this is, I got this in PR, um, the Glamorous palette. I'm going to use this on my channel or do a short or something with it soon. It's stunning. I haven't used it on my eyes though, but I've swatched it. I mean, I'm not going to get rid of any of my Natasha Denona's. It's it's not going to happen. So I have pretty much all the midis except for Sunrise and Zendo, which I think I might pick up just so that I can finish the collection because I'm silly. Not getting rid of Zeba, not getting rid of Trio Chrome. I love them. I was going to get rid of Leela because I'm pretty sure this is off. I've had it for, um, <laughs> when did this first come out? I think since 2016 or 2017. So that's how long I've had it for. <laughs> and it's definitely off. Um, so actually I should get rid of this because you can't even buy it anymore and it's 100% off and I never liked it in the first place. So yeah, I'll, I'll get rid of that. What am I doing? This is staying. I love it. This is staying. I love it. And then all I have left now is all of my pat, which is 100% staying. That is all of the eyeshadow palettes. I thought I was going to be a little bit harsher. This is like my eyeliner and lip liner drawer. I think it's going to be the best view I can get of it. Sorry. I think I might declutter these. I don't use them. <laughs> these are actually old. I got these in 2020. So yeah, I'm going to declutter all of them. These eyeliners are good. Same with these lip liners. These are all like pretty much brand new or still good. My holy grails, you know. Um, I, I will obviously pull all this out and clean it. But um, yeah, these these are holy grails like Charlotte Tilbury, Natasha Denona, Lisa, Pat, uh, Tom Ford V. So they're all fun. These ColourPop ones. Oh, that's a Pat McGrath Labs one. I actually don't like this Pat McGrath Labs shade. This is Suburbia, so I'm going to get rid of that because I don't like the shade. Um, I really like this NYX liner, so I will keep it out. I'm actually going to declutter this ColourPop one, and I'm going to declutter both of these ColourPop ones as well. I'm just, I'm not going to use them. I'm going to keep these four. This is a NYX one. I, I like that. Um, Huda Beauty, two makeup forever ones, and then I'm going to declutter this one because I'm not going to use that shade. These are lips. These are the new Kaleidos lips that I got, and I don't want to get rid of any of them because I really liked every shade. I'm going to bite the bullet and get rid of these Pat McGrath Labs lip gloss. I just don't like the formula. I'm sorry. I just don't. Actually, let me look at these Kaleidos shades because I think I like, might like the new ones better. So I definitely like all four of the new nudes over these two and this one. So I am actually going to declutter Skinship, 
Bear and Pink Moon from the older collection just because I can't use this many lipsticks and I like the new shades like they're a lot more vibrant in my vibe but I'm gonna keep this mercury one because I really really like that purple and I'm actually gonna declutter this one which is siren because this is just a little too out there for me whereas this is like the kind of purple i like to wear there's not a lipstick in this one that i want to declutter these are all like new high-end ones and there's not another lipstick in this one that i want to declutter either i'm just going to declutter these two ColourPop ones because even though i really like the shades i have so much lipstick i can't physically get to them all. i'm going to declutter this lime crime one i'm going to declutter this fenty beauty one i'm going to declutter this charlotte tilbury one i've had this for years four years or something it probably needs to just go in the bin i'm not going to declutter that one i'm going to declutter these i never ever wear them ever I never think to reach for them and yeah I'm just gonna declutter them I'm not gonna declutter my cream so I did give my mum one shade but I really like these so I'm gonna keep that I'll keep this Dior tint oh I'm never gonna use this uh, I'm just gonna declutter it I'm not gonna use it uh, I'm gonna keep my Chanel lip I'm gonna keep my Dior lip and I guess I'll declutter this M Cosmetics one I never use it I did recently use Elsin 2 this red lipstick this was really beautiful but I am actually going to declutter this one because I'm not going to use it. This is a whole box of makeup that I'm decluttering, which we're going to go through in a second. That's a whole shoe box, by the way. It's, it's huge. And then these are actually all the eyeshadow palettes that I'm decluttering. So let me quickly count these. So I'm getting rid of 11 eyeshadow palettes. And let me quickly count how many I'm keeping. And I'm keeping 101. Oh, actually, I will eventually be decluttering this one. Um, it's just that I need it for my V video, but that's not really, you know, that's getting rid of 12 and keeping 100, which is kind of insane. Now we have to go through this dang box. Oh, another eyeshadow palette. Getting rid of two face palettes. Let me sort through this box. I think all of these are the products I'm getting rid of. Eight glosses. Keeping 16. Getting rid of... One, two, five lip liners. Keeping 16 lip liners. Lipsticks, we've got getting rid of 12 lipsticks. Eyeliners, we're getting rid of 11 eyeliners. Keeping 19, and I'm actually gonna add an extra one. I don't like this purple from Kaleidos. Brows, I got rid of like four products. I'm not gonna keep, I'm not even gonna count the ones kept because they're just, they're ones that I use and I just go through them. I don't ever actually buy products. I seem to get sent them in PR, so yeah. We're getting rid of two color correctors and keeping, keeping eight. Getting rid of 11 concealers, keeping 18. Getting rid of three primers and keeping nine. That's another primer gone, so four primers gone, nine kept. Four foundation, four going and 17 kept. For powder, we've got seven gone and 18 being kept. For bronzer, and this is cream and powder. So cream and powder bronzers, we've got 11 bronzers being decluttered and 18 being kept. Seven highlighters being decluttered and 19 being kept. And that is powder and cream. 10 blushes being decluttered and that's cream and powder. And 44 being kept. So this is all of, well, not all of it. It's not even all in frame, but this is a lot of the makeup that I am decluttering for end of year 2022. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and had a good old time. I love watching these kind of videos. So, you know, these are usually controversial. Um, you either love them or you hate them. Hopefully if you hate them, you just stopped watching. Um, but if you're watching till this point, I hope you enjoyed it and had some fun and all that. I'm going to stop talking now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, if you're watching till this point, you're a legend. You know you are. I appreciate you so, so much. And I hope that you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.